What's going on guys? So I'm only five here, back with another video, and I'm gonna try to keep this one short, but we're gonna talk about the best recording settings in OBS for a clean, crisp 1080p recording. Now, I personally don't use recording a whole lot. I use the replay buffer, I stream. I don't really do a whole lot of recording unless it's like intros for this, but I do know a little bit about OBS, so we're gonna talk about it. If you guys are enjoying the video, feel free to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and turn on post notifications so you guys never miss a new video. And I also live stream on Twitch pretty much every day, 8 p.m. Eastern. I will leave a link to that in the description down below. You guys can kind of see how crisp my stream looks. And if you guys want to talk about it, message in chat, and I'll be able to kind of explain to you guys how I got that. But... Let's get right into it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Getting right into the video, guys. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to settings. Make sure your output, or no, sorry, your video, base canvas resolution, and output scaled resolution are both set to 1920 by 1080. I personally have mine set to 2560 by 1440 just because I have a 1440p monitor. Your downscale filter, I personally like Lanscale, Lancozos, however the hell you say it. Um, scaling 36 samples, and then my common FPS value is 60. For output, you click the recording tab, choose where you want it to go, choose how many audio tracks you want. For the encoder, I personally have NVIDIA NVENC, just because it's a little bit higher quality than X264. You can always rescale your output if your base canvas resolution and your output scale resolution are different. So in my case, I could click it, all my recordings would be 1080p instead of 1440p, but I like the idea of having a 1440p. So that's why we do that. For 1080p, you would wanna go rate control of controlled bitrate, CBR. Your bitrate, anywhere between six to 8,000 kilobits per second, which is six to eight megabytes per second. For me, I have it at 30,000. Just because of 1440p, it kind of requires a higher bitrate. Preset quality, uh, you can go quality or performance. I personally like quality. Profile high, and then everything else is gonna be kind of default. Like your look ahead's unchecked, cycle visual tuning, is checked not entirely sure what that does but i just leave it checked and i haven't had any issues gpu zero max b frames two and then from here you're going to want to kind of go to your audio make sure your audio bit rate is set to 320 recently twitch had updated your audio bit rate capabilities to 320 and a lot of people are unaware of it but if you update it to 320 it'll give you that crisp clear audio that you're looking for and it doesn't use a whole lot of resources on your cpu but change that to 320 and you'll notice a hell of a difference in your recordings all right guys so the last thing you're going to want to make sure is that all your assets you have on your preview window are set to a 1920 by 1080 it's going to make it look super crisp and if you don't have say a 1080p webcam but it's only like 720p as long as you have it not super small but you know like kind of small most people aren't going to be able to tell the difference so don't necessarily worry about that and don't go out and buy a 1080p webcam but if you have one all the better if you guys did enjoy the video though feel free to drop a like hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you guys never miss a new video i hope you guys enjoyed it I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.